Hey everyone. So today I thought I would share something that I learned. Um, well, actually, I knew I knew that this was possible, but uh, James tweeted that uh, Jess is architected really well. Did you know you can simply pull out a test and run it, uh, run it in its file by importing the expect package? You can still get all the pretty diff output in a quick script. And so he uh, posted this gist that showed uh, how you could do that. You just importing the expect module and then all the other stuff that you need for your test and um, then yeah you can do all of your assertions right in here um, where he has like this pretty big um, actual test file that he's using in jest and then here's his source file so uh, i thought it'd be pretty cool to to show you um, that uh, and then like how how we can make that work so um VS Code just updated where I can't put the terminal on the right side where I like it. So right side, I actually, there you go. I want it over there, <laughs> um, but it is what it is. So hopefully I figure out what, what's going on there. Um, so we got this math module and it has a sum. In our package JSON we have, here I should probably update this. Just, just we'll run our test so we can run npm run test. Uh, that'll run our tests. We've got our dev dependencies for Babel and whatnot, uh, the Babel bridge, uh, so that things work uh, because Jest is still using Babel, uh, old Babel. So, oh, there's a broken test. Oh no, what is the matter? So we go in here and we're like, oh, this test is super complicated. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, here, I already did it in standalone, but we'll do um, hi.js. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'll copy this whole thing and then I'll just remove the stuff that's just specific with the exception of expect. And then I'll import expect from expect. And then um, I'm using ES modules in here, so I need to have some way to, to <coughs> make these ES modules work. Uh, so you could use standard ESM or whatever, but um, we've got Babel in this project, so I'm going to use Babel node. npx Babel node. Um, yeah, here. It's right there. And it's installed in my project via um, babel slash node. I wonder if that would work if I do npx babel slash node. <clears throat> and then we do hi.js. Uh, nope, doesn't work. Okay, so we'll do npx babel node. So we reference this binary right here. Um, and hi.js. And ta-da! So we get that running in total isolation away from Jest. Now you might be wondering, okay, so why is this at all useful? Well, uh, it's kind of useful, like I, I can see some situations where it would be useful to, um, like, uh, so there are a couple of things where this could be useful. Uh, running only one assertion um, or one test, you can do that already with just watch mode, and so that's really nice. So I wouldn't use it necessarily just for that. Um, it's also, um, like I, I think the biggest reason I would use it is to whittle away the number of things that could be wrong. Um, and so like just does a whole bunch of things in the global environment. Um, and maybe one of those things is messing up your test. And so um, shrinking the number of, of pieces in your program um, is probably like that. That to me is a pretty good reason to use this. One other thing that uh, might be useful is node inspect break. Oh, actually, we had to use Babel node. So here, let's do Babel. Uh, well, goodness gracious, I'm not even going to deal with it. So um, yeah, here, let's do this. We'll do uh, what? Ah, run test.js. And here we'll require Babel register. And then we'll require i.js. Or we'll have to do slash hi. Here we go. And so now we can just run this with node run test. And it takes a second because it's got to transpile on the fly or compile on the fly. So now we can say node inspect break run test. And that will start our inspector. So we can um, go in here, pop open DevTools, and that thing will pop up. And we can click on that. And um, I don't know why this doesn't just like catch things that are like we're, we're literally waiting for this to uh, okay sometimes that doesn't work so when that doesn't work we can say or let's see it's chrome 
inspect. And then we can inspect that. There we go. And we're on our breakpoint. Sweet. So then we can go like this. And then we'll dive into high. And oh goodness. Um see this is all the um babble stuff now. Grimy. I don't yeah, okay. So maybe debugging isn't the best. Like what I would probably do if I wanted to debug this is I'd probably use um Jest. And um, I have a video a while back showing you how to in, um, debug your tests with Jest. So yeah, um, I guess it's mostly just like, hey, let's, let's limit the number of moving parts in here to see if this can work. Um, I also tried to see if it expect could work in the browser because they do, in fact, have um, a build ES5, which from the top looks like they are using um, UMD. But what we find out is they're using module.exports down here and module is not defined. So you, their UMD wrapper is not quite right. I don't know. It's weird. Um, so yeah, you can't just use it in the browser either, which is unfortunate. So um, yeah, this is probably less helpful than, than most videos. But it is kind of interesting to note that the expect module from Jest, um, where we get our uh, global expect here, um, you can actually use that standalone as expect. And that was a gift um, given to us from the one and only Michael Jackson of React training. Um, so yeah, he, he actually created expect and then donated the package to Jest and that's what we're using now. So thank you, Michael. Um, but yeah, it's totally usable. Um, you can't just use it in the browser. We'd, you'd have to have a build step to make it work in the browser. Um, but like it does run in the browser, just um, <clears throat> it's using common JS modules, which is the problem. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So um, oh, full stack library is saying that they can't see the code. That was my bad. Sorry about that. So I'll just run through the code and you can pause. So we've got the high JS that I made. Index test is this one. And the math module is this one. This is the error. We're doing minus instead of plus. Uh, here's our package JSON that's got all of our stuff in it. And here's that run test that will register. So sorry about that. Um, OK, sweet. I'm going to jump out. Hope this was at least entertaining, if not informative. And we will see you all later. Bye.